Hi, I'm Dr. Uh, Israel Jakobowicz, uh, cardiothoracic surgeon at uh, Maimonides Medical Center. I went to medical school at uh, SUNY Buffalo, started in 1969, graduated in 1973, and from there I went on to a training in uh, general surgery and cardiothoracic surgery at New York University Medical Center under the direction of uh, Frank uh, Spencer. Um, I did an additional period of time in pediatric cardiac surgery. That's kind of how I got interested in cardiac surgery to begin with up at Buffalo and then came back to New York in uh, mid-1980 to uh, start practice. My first uh, interest in cardiothoracic surgery was peaked as a medical student. I uh, happened to see a uh, operation on a nine-month-old child, and I have to say that that piqued my interest. Up until that time, I was going to be a pediatrician. Uh, the combination of the fact that uh, I didn't want to do well baby care and that I wanted to take care of sick people uh, led me to the decision about cardiac surgery. I think the patients we take care of really uh, challenge your mind as far as respiratory and cardiac uh, care for the patient and, and certainly is uh, technically uh, challenging. So that's why I ended up in, in this field. I've really performed a uh, large variety of, of cardiac surgery over the years. Uh, I think that uh, starting in the uh, mid-late 1990s, my interest was to try to uh, do uh, heart surgery, particularly bypass surgery, without the heart-lung machine and doing less invasive uh, approaches. Uh, but it's really been a broad-based uh, approach. I would venture to guess that the majority of the patients I operate on are patients with coronary artery disease. I think it's something I actually try, the philosophy is one I try to teach uh, all, all students and residents, uh, that this is an awesome responsibility. Uh, at the end of the day, you need to check your uh, balance sheet and make sure you've done the best you can. And if you haven't, come back the next day and, and, and do better. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the motto I try to follow. As in many areas of surgery, it has really evolved. Uh, if I look at general surgery today, it's nothing like it was when I was a general surgery resident. The things are done through small incisions and uh, through scopes, and it's a whole different uh, skill set that you need to learn. And that's been the challenge for cardiac surgeons as well as we evolved, is to make the operation uh, not only safer, and it's definitely become a lot safer, but to challenge us to make it uh, more uh, uh, cosmetically uh, sound for the patient, um, less traumatic for the patient, and that's led us to smaller, uh, smaller and smaller incisions. Well, absolutely. There is, it's actually a, a marriage between industry and cardiac surgery. So back in the uh, late, uh, mid to late 1990s, the um, um, development of technology in order to be able to safely do beating heart surgery uh, came along. And that shifted the paradigm to be able to do these operations safely, uh, which up until then really was a very tedious, difficult, uh, challenging problem. It's not that it's easy today, but it certainly can, can be done, and these tools have helped us. Similarly, with valve surgery, uh, again, about late 1990s, technology came around to be able to use uh, alternate ways of putting patients on the heart-lung machine so that you could do the operations through small incisions. And then the last, which I'm sure a lot of people have heard about, is this robotic device, which is used in a lot of areas of surgery. The urologists use it very actively in prostate surgery. The gynecologists use it. I think it's used to a lesser degree in cardiac surgery, but uh, it's certainly something that uh, uh, we're, we're using and looking at with great interest. Uh, we've used it here at this institution over the years uh, with regard to taking down uh, arteries under the breastbone to facilitate doing minimally invasive uh, bypass surgery. What I'd like a new patient uh, to know is that, uh, number one, I'm affiliated with an excellent institution. Our uh, care provided in our open heart unit and throughout the hospital is uh, par ex excellence, and uh, they don't have any concerns with regard to that. Number two is that they have my commitment of availability on a 24-7 basis, and if I'm not uh, around in, in town that I have associates who can equally uh, take care of them, that they're going to get a superior quality of, of care, 
and uh, that they have a dedicated team. I don't, I don't know that I can find a particular moment in my career. Uh, as I said, when I was a medical student, I could point to that pediatric case that kind of opened up my eyes to cardiac surgery. Uh, I think that uh, my father's uh, death at the end of 1980 certainly has shaped a lot of uh, my thought processes and dedication towards uh, the field of, of medicine. Uh, I think what satisfies me within the institution is that uh, physicians rely on me to take care of them and their family members, and uh, that I consider a significant achievement.